Guys, we're back at the SR Auto Group YouTube channel. Today we have this 2017 Viper ACR Extreme. At the start of the video, I just wanted to tell you a little bit more about this car before I sell it off. I've had so much interest in it, but I didn't want it to go away before you guys actually saw how special this car really is. So this is a 2017 Viper Extreme X, they call it. So the Extreme package, uh, it has the canards, it has the rear spoiler, uh, it has the front lip. Uh, it's just an absolutely awesome last year Viper. Now, how can you make this Viper better? Well, the guys at uh, Woodhouse uh, Dodge Chrysler, which has a motorsport division, they contacted Aero uh, Engineering, I believe it's called, and they built a nine liter uh, long block motor for this car. So bottom end, top end, nine liter instead of the regular 8.4 liter that comes with the Viper. Now the Viper block is known to be a little bit weak uh, in the bottom end, uh, apparently they crack or what have you. I'm not 100% sure about this, but I have heard this um, dilemma with these cars. So Arrow has gone ahead and built this uh, long block motor with the nine liter. This car has it. Kev, I'll read you the actual list of everything that's done to it. I just wanna show you how stock it actually still looks. So guys, to open the hood of a Viper, it's, it's quite simple. Uh, the latch is underneath here. Um, you're not gonna really see it, Kev, but you just pull it here and then the hood opens up. Okay, it was a little bit wet outside, uh, guys. So this car came with the standard uh, carbon fiber cross brace, but if you look at it from here, the only thing that does not look stock right now is the MCS uh, suspension uh, remote reservoirs. Other than that, we have a catch can on each side, but there's nothing here that doesn't look out of the ordinary. But when you get closer, uh, Kev, if, I don't know if you can see it in there, you see the, the headers, there's the Belanger headers and the Belanger exhaust uh, system attached to the aero uh, head and the aero block. Uh, guys, this car has everything. It has a tri uh, triple plate clutch. Um, it has an AccuSump system. And for you guys that don't know what an AccuSump system is, uh, AccuSump is pretty much, well, it provides oil pressure before the car starts up. So you never run the car uh, dry without oil. So basically it pressurizes the oil system and uh, when you fire it up, the car has always been lubricated. It has that system. It's actually underneath the airbox cam. If you want to look at it underneath there. So MCS, it has, so the MCS suspension uses Eibach uh, coils. So uh, I have the spring rates in there. It's actually pretty, re really pretty cool. But if you look around the car right now, we're running stock wheels and tires, but we have forge, uh, forge line uh, track wheels uh, in the back in the packages. Uh, the front lip is taken off only for shipping, which is in here. Um, this is the long uh, uh, front lip with the aluminum uh, stays. Uh, you come around the back, guys, like it's an absolute, like a muscle car to me is this. This is a real muscle car. This is as American as I was get. I would pick this over a uh, Camaro, uh, Corvette, uh, anything, anything that you can imagine, Challengers or what have you. The V10 Viper, it just sounds awesome. It looks awesome. Uh, let me show you the trunk, Kev. Let me open that up. Do I have the key? Do I not have the key? I have the key. So guys, red Viper key. You guys see it. It's absolutely amazing. So let's open up the trunk. So if you look at it, guys, this is how the vehicle actually comes. Okay, the only thing that's different is the MCS... Uh, uh, reservoirs are, are connected out here, but usually the original Viper um, shock reservoirs are there. This is OEM, battery box is OEM. This bareness is OEM. This is the, I'm guessing this is the brake cooling? Is that what that is? It must be the brake cooling. Hold on, Kevin. It goes in. Guys, I can't tell, but I can't see what else that would be because the duct is up here. The duct is over here and it goes into that pipe, which must shoot into the wheel wells and into the uh, brake area. But guys, look at it. Beautiful carbon fiber. Like this is an American car. You don't usually see nice carbon fiber like this for the trunk and the uh, rear taillight panel. And even the spoiler is actually quite beautifully done. Like I've seen a lot of nice cars, but guys, this one's, this one's fairly special. Now, I was going to tell you what it actually had in it. And I have the, the paperwork right here. So, Kev, check this out. 
So this is all US dollars, guys. So we're looking at the Aero 9S 2G4, Aero G4 block, so which is the nine liter uh, uh, engine. So 24,000 US dollars just for the long block. Um, so the uh, Belanger full uh, catback exhaust is $4,200. The heat shields, the Gen 4 5 underdrive pulley, uh, the uh, catch cans, the tow hook, uh, the forge line wheels, Michelin tires, uh, the AccuSump that we were just talking about, the Canton AccuSump, uh, the MCS shocks. Uh, oh, here's the spring rates, Kevin, that we were talking about. Um, so it looks like, what, 600 and 1400, uh, what is it? Foot pounds? foot pounds? It is foot pounds? Yeah. yeah. Holy cow, those are uh, strong. Uh, factory helper springs and so on and so forth. Guys, it goes on. This car has so much stuff. I'm not going to bore you through the details, but it has pages of Woodhouse, uh, Woodhouse Chrysler stuff. Okay, so let's put that away. Guys, this video isn't meant to be just about this Viper. We're probably going to run down maybe my Ferrari F430 today. I do have a special car that just arrived for me. A lot of you guys have already seen it in the States, but this is the first one in Canada. Um, I'm gonna surprise you with that right after we start up this Viper real quick. Okay, Kev, you ready? Yeah, let's go. You may wanna to get to the side of the car because that's oh, where the exhaust right. is. <laughs> I didn't just start this car and rev it to death and turn it off. Uh, it was warm. I had warmed it up earlier. That was not a cold start. But did you hear what a V10 sounds like? A proper V10 engine. This is it. Guys, I didn't want to sell this car, but a buddy of mine in uh, Toronto really, really wanted it. So this is going over to Toronto. Uh, what a car. I can't see how anybody that's into muscle cars does not like the Dodge Viper. Anyway, guys, so let's go on to the video. Uh, I got a brand new car. I'm really excited uh, for you guys to see it. it. We literally picked it up about half an hour ago, uh, but I can't drive it stock. So I'm gonna quickly show it to you. Kevin and I are gonna walk out to it, and then from that point on, I'm gonna see how I can modify it in this video so I can actually drive it home without being embarrassed. Watch us. So guys, a really, really cool thing happened. Kevin and I have been working on getting this car for, I don't know, a good three days. Something like that. About three days. Anyway, long story short, he got this car that we kind of really wanted to mess around with. Uh, we really wanted to know if it was really that fast. And somehow uh, a black on black one showed up. I'm not gonna keep you guys in suspense. Here it is. It's literally right there. So let's go outside and take a look. Guys, it's a 2021 or two? 2021 Model S Plaid. It's one of the first ones in Canada. It is the first one in Canada. Uh, luckily we got it. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this car, but before we do anything We're gonna go drive and see how really stupid this is. So why don't we all get in it and I'll make you guys sick Let's go. Let's go Oh god, oh god, oh god Apparently there's a software update already um, Plaid 19 inch wheels. I feel so broke getting 19 inch wheels. We didn't really have much of a choice, ladies and gentlemen. That's all we could get. Okay, that's that. So how do I do this, Kevin? Okay, so you put your foot on the brake. I got it. You choose the direction on the touchscreen. So you see how there's a little thing on the left of your touchscreen? On the, this one? Yep, so you swipe it up to go straight and you swipe it backwards to go reverse. So where's the button where I go like this and like this to make it go front and back? You do not. You're joking. I'm dead serious. So it's Tesla's Tinder. What the there, F is this? There are little, you can see the outline uh, by, by the hazards. There's a little PRND there. Yeah, I see uh, it. And that turns on if the screen is rebooting for whatever reason. So I got to use this screen to do everything? Pretty much. 
Okay. Can we watch Netflix? Can watch Netflix. Okay. Well, we don't have our seatbelts on, apparently, Kevin. So here we go. I'm putting my seatbelt on. Press to drive. Okay. This is good news. Are you ready? Oh my god. Oh my god. The steering wheel is absolutely weird. When are they going to give you the option to <laughs> replace it with a regular steering wheel? A lot of people have been, have been asking for that and up until now you are stuck with this yoke. Yeah, but a yoke goes in and out, yeah. it does things, it doesn't just... Look at this. It's like a video game. Hey, you, you don't even have drive. Like, what is this? This isn't a car. There's no drive. There's no... Anyway. How do I put it in let's kill us mode? Uh, so they're in acceleration, you have Plaid. Okay. You can there put it, it into drag strip mode as well. I don't want drag strip, I just want... That will precondition the battery and make it more fast. Guys, hold on to yourselves. We are going 0 to 60 right here. Nobody's going to see it. I hope there's nobody by this truck. Are we holding on to our stuff? Yes? Yes, sure. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> uh, that was ridiculous. That is not normal. Okay, let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Which way? Which way do you have more space? Right. This way. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ready? Say hi to this lady. Yeah. Okay, goodbye, lady. Warp speed! Jesus <laughs> that was ridiculous. Guys, you have to understand that it's a little bit wet outside and I'm trying not to go fast, but it's kind of hard not to go fast when you're driving this thing. Just hit drag thing. strip, just hit drag strip. I don't want to hit drag strip. Just hit drag strip. Oh my. It warms up the battery. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, I it's almost weird. missed that Wait, did you just say it warms up the battery? It warms up the battery and prepares it for racing. Okay, we're going to prepare ourselves for racing in a second after I figure out how to... Aha, we're going... Whoa. Fuck. Sorry, the steering wheel. Okay, so, so far, acceleration good, the look is good, uh, other than the wheels, which we're going to change right now. We're going to lower it right now. We've got to put some sort of wheels on it. We must have something in stock. But this steering wheel is terrible. <laughs> Absolutely terrible. Like, there's twice, I don't know if you guys caught me while I was, <laughs> I was trying to turn and there's nothing up here. Okay, so... Was it fast, Raymond? Yeah, my stomach is actually about to... <laughs> Uh, do some vom vomiting funny enough this car is one-fifth the price of that car sitting right there even less and that car would not even compare to the speed of this vehicle it is crazy okay guys we're in the shop uh we're gonna see what we can do to this car real quick to make it fun so guys we're back so i want to first tell you guys that today's whopper wednesday and I don't know if it's the same in the US or whatever, but in Canada, or at least in BC, Whoppers are like five bucks for a combo. Uh, and on Whopper Wednesdays, we go buy them. Now, I ate a Whopper today with onion rings and a medium Coke with extra ice. That's what I usually have. And then I went for a drive in this. Now, Kevin had the exact same thing that's uh, on the camera right now, and he's not feeling well. And I'll be honest, I'm not feeling so well either. But we did drive a Model S Plaid, and it's absolutely stupid. Now, unfortunately, this is the first car in Canada from what this Kevin's telling me. So we didn't get a choice of what wheels or what have you or whatever. I would have preferred the, the what are they, 20? 20, 21. 21 inch wheels. So luckily here at SR, I do have a set from one of our older cars, um, which are pure FL25s, our flow form set. So I may throw those on and maybe lower the car just a touch to give it a good look. Um, that way, at least uh, our first in Canada plaid doesn't look so cheap. Um, it's got to look the part. It goes. Uh, that's all I can tell you. It absolutely rips. Uh, so we're going to lower it, put some wheels on it. Uh, we'll end the video with that today because uh, I don't know what else I could talk about that is as crazy as this. So let's get to it. Let's put the wheels on. What do you so got? I found a set of FL25s that I had on my other Model S. So a little bit dirty, but these are gonna look amazing on the black. So we're gonna throw those on real quick because we cannot drive with plastic hubcaps. Guys, so we're at the Model S, uh, the plaid that we just got. Martin is taking off our test right now. And we are going to change the suspension links. 
So we have the airbag right here, guys, and this is the suspension link. Well, it's not exactly a suspension link. It's a headlight leveling link or a vehicle leveling link. It's connected to the upper control arm, and it just tells the computer how high the car is so it can adjust the actual height every corner. So what we do is we actually adjust this link. We put our own adjustable link in there, and we trick the computer into thinking it's too high so the whole car will lower itself. So what we're going to do is we're going to install that link, lower this car, put our FL25s back on it, and then we're going to reveal the car to you, lowered with our test set of wheels on until our new set arrives. Turn on, turn on. Okay, it's going down, it's going down. The back's not doing anything. Is the back doing anything? I feel like it's slowly going down. Oh, 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 oh. front's going. Do we have a look yet? Yeah, we, we got a look. Kevin, this way. What do you got, what do you got? Oh, that sounds great, the engine. Oh, it sounds like a Viper, like it's 10 cylinder, this Tesla. Okay, walk around with me, Kevin. So guys, we really did lower this car a lot more than I was expecting to. FL25s and 21 inch. This is what we used to put on the regular Model S's, not the plaids, like the 100Ds or what have you. Uh, the tires in the front might be a bit too short, but again, this is just a test set. Uh, it's already scratched and stuff, so whatever. But look at it, it actually just changed the whole car. Um, it looks absolutely awesome. Come to this side, Kev. Just look at it, it's absolutely, it's a different car. Like, I don't know what Tesla's thinking, putting their best car and putting the worst wheels on it. Like, look how nice it looks lowered. This thing's awesome. So, guys, uh, this was a short, impromptu video. Uh, I was talking about the Viper. I was going to tell you about the F430 and everything we had done, but somehow this First Thing Canada plaid showed up for me. Uh, I was really, really excited about it, but the wheels were so bloody ugly. Uh, check it out, Kevin. So what we did is, as you can see, we've lowered it uh, a lot. Uh, it looks like, what, an inch and a half at least we came down, Kevin, even like in, that, yeah. in low mode. Uh, we put a set of FL25 tester wheels that we had, so they're not perfect, they're not exactly clean, um, but I just wanted to see how they fit compared to the old Model S because this car is a little bit wider, and they actually fit really, really well. Now. I'm going to put a new set on uh, in the next couple days. Uh, it'll look exactly the same, just not curved and damaged. But look at this car, guys. It looks really, really good. Um, there's not much else to say about this car. It's a Model S Plaid. It's fast as hell. Uh, it has, like, all the chrome is blacked out, which I don't usually like, but from the factory, it's okay. Uh, Interior is really, really nice. I don't know how to get into it. There it is. Uh, it has carbon fiber. It has the big screen. That steering wheel just sucks, I'm sorry to say. Uh, it's really going to be tough to get used to, dangerous in my opinion. Um, this fabric I really like, to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm really getting back into the old tweeds and uh, uh, fabric designs of these cars. Uh, this carbon fiber has a matte uh, clear coat finish on it, which is really, really nice. Um, it's black on black. You can't go wrong, guys. I think the silver wheels make it pop. Uh, it's really a cool car. I'm going to drive it home tonight, see how I like it. Chances are it's not going to be my thing. I still rather have an S class, but uh, I'm quite lucky to get one of the first ones in Canada. Guys, I hope you like uh, watching this video about the plaid. I'm sure you've seen a million of them on YouTube. Uh, the Viper, the plaid, we're going to get so much more coming uh, as we go along with uh, future videos. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you like what we're doing, please comment, say so. If you don't like what we're doing, Give me hell and tell me what I'm doing wrong. Until then, guys, we'll see you on the next video.